Well, what we're announcing tomorrow is the results of the red tape challenge uh, exercise that DEFRA has taken part in. Uh, we've analysed over 500 regulations. Around 30% of those are going to be scrapped altogether because they're redundant or obsolete or are no longer needed in our view. And another 25% of them are going to be consolidated and improved. And we're looking in particular to make massive cuts to the uh, level of guidance that goes with these regulations, an 80% reduction, around 100,000 pages of DEFRA guidance is going to disappear, and we've got a team of people working on that. And alongside this as well, it's important to recognise that we've got the final uh, phase of implementation from the McDonald Review, the Farm Regulation Task Force. Uh, we've already announced the changes that we're going to make to uh, livestock movement, particularly around sheep, to make it easier uh, for farmers to move sheep from their main holding to temporary grazing within a 10 mile radius. And we're also looking at ways of changing the culture within DEFRA and partnership working, more local tailored solutions, uh, rather than always reaching for the uh, regulatory bottle. What benefits are farmers going to see tomorrow? Well, the, the most important thing is this is a consultation, so it's not going to happen immediately, but it will happen quickly. It will happen within this Parliament. So um, we hope, uh, once we get agreement with this, that, uh, that those 30% of the 500 we've looked at will be scrapped altogether, and that we will also be um, you know, in, in reducing considerably uh, the level of guidance that we've got. Uh, alongside this, we're also doing other things. We are internally reviewing... Uh, the approach that the RPA take to inspections. We want to make sure that the sanctions are proportionate. Uh, we're looking at whether we can have an absolute reduction uh, in the level of inspections. We're reviewing that as well. And we're also trying to increase the amount of uh, earned recognition you can have. So where farmers have demonstrated that they are complying with regulations, let's have a much lighter touch to the approach we take to inspections. So there's a whole package of other things that we're doing alongside this announcement relating to the 500 regulations we've studied.